common stock will trade under the symbol up. Take a look at shares uh, this morning. Joining us as uh, Kenny Dichter, longtime friend of CNBC, Wheels Up founder and CEO. Kenny, what a journey for you. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks, Carl. It's great to be down here with you and the team and uh, just uh, American dream. It's uh, anything is possible in America. If you can dream it, you can yeah. do it. Well, we were just talking before the, uh, during the break about when you first brought this idea to us. So you were talking, you've been in this space for so long. Yep. Um, did COVID give it sort of a, a huge afterburner rocket boost or, or has this been a, a slow burn all along the way? I, I would say it's been a slow burn, you know, as I've been doing this for 20 years now and I've been democratizing for 20 years. I think that COVID accelerated things, but we were surely on an uptrend uh, all the way through. And, uh, you know, to be here at the New York Stock Exchange ringing the bell on behalf of our investors, our partners, our pilots, our employees, just, uh, again, if you could dream it, you can do it. Yeah. I give the viewers a sense of growth here. Um, yep. Let's see. Uh, Q1 for, revenue up, what, 68? Yeah. For first quarter revenue up 68. Even more uh, impressive, maybe, new member growth up 56. So we had a great quarter, $261 million in revenue, which if you annualize that out, you know, it's a, it's a good run rate for us. And uh, really, really exciting times. Where does the growth come from? Talk to me about the kind of consumer. Yep you think you can target, and whether or not there's eventually a limit to that kind of person who's willing to pay up for this kind of convenience. Well, the great news is, and Ed Bastian mentioned it this morning yeah. when uh, he did his... He said, shout out to Kennedy. Yeah. You know what? When we did that Delta Airlines deal, and I did that off-market with Ed, he contributed his private jet assets, but more important, a seven, eight-year marketing agreement. So first class, business class, business customers, uh, the, Delta, the Delta group of people, that just takes your addressable market really all the way up to the sky, and vice versa, you know, Wheels Up has a situation where our customers, 80 percent of our customers, fly commercial. So it's really about the addressable market and the democratization, which gives us that lift and allows us to be a much bigger business in the future. Uh, last year during COVID, there was a squeeze on equipment, right? Yeah. It was difficult to get a hold of a, of a private jet for a while. Yeah, well, is, that, is this still the case? Well, the good news is our pilot force and our team stayed in place all the way through COVID. We now have 170 planes in our first party business, which is O and O. We have a management business, a second party business. There's another 170 planes, over a thousand pilots. So we have assets. We're not in the brokerage business, but the future of our business, Carl, be leveraging technology. We hired Greg Greeley as the chairman of our marketplace. He created Amazon Prime with Bezos. Uh, Vinayak Hegde is our quarterback, our digital quarterback. This is going to look more like Uber and Airbnb than an airline. Interesting. All in the air, though. Are, are there other modes of transportation you want? The, the, the name yes. is Wheels Up. Yeah, well, uh, Anchor's Up. You know, you may have an opportunity in the yacht space. You know, Villa's Up. And, you know, I, I watch Branson. I watch Musk. I watch Bezos. How about Space Up? <laughs> we may need to go into space. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.